Hi, I'm Lauren McKechnie, and this is Financially Fit with Texoma Community Credit Union. Today I have Carly Coggins here to talk about checking accounts. Carly, can you start with, um, you know, there's so many different checking accounts options out there. How do big banks differ from credit unions like Texoma? So most banks actually charge a monthly service fee if you don't meet certain requirements. Those service fees typically range from $5 to $12 a month. As for credit unions, we actually don't charge monthly service fees and instead offer rewards typically back to our members. And those range based upon the accounts that you have. Even if you don't meet the qualifications though for the rewards accounts, there's still no monthly fees at the end. Oh, that's wonderful. And so what kind of rewards do we offer here at Texoma? So we have two structured checking accounts with the same qualifications. However, the rewards are different. The qualifications would be 10 purchases over $10 a piece with your debit card, one electronic transaction or direct deposit each month, and then being enrolled in emailed statements at the end of the month. Those would be the qualifications to receive either the 3.51% on up to $10,000, um, that's the cash-tastic account, and then there's the cash-back account, which you would just receive the standard $12 back at the month. Wonderful. So really, we're just rewarding you for using your account normally like you would. So if it's your yes. primary account, you're going to meet those standards usually. For sure. And it's you don't realize how quickly those transactions add up either. Mostly people think they're going to have issues getting 10 transactions over $10 mm -hmm. a piece. It's easier than you think for sure. <laughs> yeah. And I know if you um, if you don't meet the reward qualifications one month, you can try again the next month. Is yes. that right? That resets at the beginning of each month. So you have a new shot each and every month to get those rewards at the very end. Great. So um, what else should we be looking for in checking accounts, you know, the offerings outside of the rewards? So you also need to look for services that are advancing along with everyone else around you. So I think of things like Google, Google, Apple, and Samsung Pay. Those are really big things right now. People love to walk up and just be able to take their phone out and put it up to the card reader. Uh, that's a great service that's offered at most institutions nowadays. There's also Zelle, which is an instant transfer application that typically is integrated within in online banking for institutions. And um, that's kind of limits the other fees and stuff that come with Venmo, Cash App, those third-party transfer apps. Okay, so once you get ready to select an account like that, um, what type of information do you need to bring in to the credit union? So there are several things we'll need. We'll need your government-issued ID that is current. We'll also need some sort of proof of address if that address on your ID does not match where you currently reside. We always just recommend you bring that and it needs to be something with, it could be a bill, a pay stub, something within the last 30 days that can prove that you're living at that residence. And then we'll also need you to know your social security number. Okay, so once you have that all together, I know um, we have a referral program too. Um, so if you're liking the checking account you're yes. getting at Texoma, what can you do to earn some more rewards? So first, if you haven't signed up for your rewards account, you need to go to texomacuperks.com, enroll yourself and get yourself a referral code. You can share this with family and friends and all they'll need to do is bring in that referral code or just know your first name, last name and email when they present either of those pieces of information to us and they open an account, you'll actually get a $25 gift card and they will too. And that's for every account that you refer. So there is no limit as to how many people you can refer to opening a checking account. Well, that's wonderful to hear. Thank you, Carly, for joining us today. Of course. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'm Lauren McKechnie with Financially Fit with Texoma Community Credit Union. Thank you so much for joining us.